Getting transit directions in maps can be a great option if you're in an unfamiliar city. I have a standard map of Chicago displayed right now. Tap the info button though and I can change this to a transit map. Rather than accentuating the main roads, transit maps highlight trains and other public transit routes. So switching to the transit map of a city is a good idea if you're not going to be using a car. Notice that we can tap on the specific stops for more details. So I'm going to get some transit directions from O'Hare Airport. So I'll tap on the directions button. And I'll need to change this from including my current location to leaving from O'Hare Airport. So I'll click on the swap button here. And then I'm going to enter the United Center as my destination, which is just west of downtown Chicago. Tap Route and my trip to the United Center is shown. I'll be taking the CTA Blue Line, which is a train, and then a bus for the final few blocks. There's also an option here to only take the Blue Line and then walk the final half mile. Walking is displayed on the map here as the dashed line. I'll stick with the train and bus combination. Tap Go and I get a detailed map of the airport and where I need to be to catch the Blue Line train. After the train departs and I get closer to my stop, which is Damon, maps will let me know it's time to get off. I'll then need to walk up the block a bit to catch the bus that will take me down to the United Center. Now let's do a longer transit route that will take us from Philadelphia to Manhattan here on the iPad. I'll start out at the Community College of Philadelphia and set my destination as Central Park. Then I'll switch to Transit Directions. All our options here involve a bus, an Amtrak train, and the subway, along with some walking. Tap Details to see the exact stops and transfers. The Amtrak train is going to take me into Penn Station, while I'll need to hop on the subway up to Central Park. Next, we're going to look at the ride option here in Maps. So, I have a route from O'Hare to the Riviera Theater set up. But to use the ride option, you need to have an app that connects its services to Maps. So the two most popular of these will be Uber and Lyft. I'm going to switch to another iPhone that has Uber installed and enter the same route. Tap the ride button now and a bunch of options for rides and what they're going to cost comes up. Here at the bottom of the list, I can jump over to the Uber app. Next, we'll look at how to share maps and routes with your own devices or with other people.